I'm going to be teaching you this look using majority wet n wild product so let's jump straight into the video the foundation I'm using today is very matte so I'm going to do my skin prep really well I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer to hydrate the skin once again I'm going to top this off with the OC Glow Glow Serum this is absolutely beautiful if you have dry skin and as a primer it works beautifully then I went in with this e.l.f. illuminating face primer. This has glitter particles, so I wanted the glow from this, not the hydration. And I'm going to top this all off using the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Mist. And I'm going to give myself a nice spritz. This is going to set the skin prep and it's going to hydrate the skin really, really well. Now, while this sits, I'm going to go off camera and do my brows. Once that is done, I'm going in with some color corrector and orange on my under eye and a slightly green tinted concealer on the redness on my face over acne marks and i'm using a blending brush to do this and i'm just pushing this into the skin really buffing it very lightly using the wet n wild photo focus foundation i believe this is in the shade light medium beige and i'm just applying this and i'm buffing this into the skin using the makeup revolution 200 foundation brush this brush is elite, there is no better foundation brush than this and this foundation is a beautiful shade match for me but it's definitely a little bit matte for my skin. If you have oily skin, you will absolutely love this. I'm just buffing this into the skin really really well and you can see despite the skin prep, my skin looks very matte. Using the concealer from Wet n Wild, I'm going to be applying this on my under eye. I'm also going to be doing my nose the cupid's bow, the chin, and the center of the forehead. I'm going to be buffing this all in using my foundation brush again because I just find this easier, at least in the large areas of my face. It does a quicker job of melting the product into the foundation. For my under eye, I'm again going to be using the La Cara FE006 brush to buff the concealer on the under eye. You can use any eyeshadow blending brush, but this one is my favorite. I did not have a blush from them, so I went in with the liquid catsuit lipstick in the shade Berry Recognize. I mixed it in with a little bit of foundation and I used it as blush. And when I tell you this wore beautifully throughout the day, it was absolutely amazing. Having said everything with powder, I went in with the bronzer from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Sunset Strip Tease and I just did some bronzing on the perimeter of my face, cheekbones, jaw, the forehead, just kind of buffing some warmth back into the skin. This has a little bit of shimmer in it so it does help combat that matte, matte foundation. I went in with some highlight. This one is in the shade Blossom Glow. Again, applying this on the highest points of my face. Really trying to combat that matte foundation that we've laid down underneath. A little bit of extra highlighter on a matte foundation doesn't hurt anybody. Rather, it just balances everything out. I prepped my eye and I went in with the O oh Honey palette. I did not have a palette from Wet n Wild. And I went in with this yellow. This is not my favorite yellow. I really had to work this in. It's not as pigmented and I was slightly patchy, but I made it work. Going in with the Sugar Plum palette and this shade from the palette with some setting spray, I kind of wanted to make an eyeliner out of this. So I used this brush from NYX, mixed it in with some setting spray and I went in with this powder to make myself a winged eyeliner. I was taking it very slow, giving it a proper shape that I wanted. Having done that, I picked up the powder on the tip of the brush and added some crease detailing just to add a little bit of extra drama to the look. I also went in with the eyeshadow on my lower lash line to link the liner to the lower lash line and make it look more cohesive. I added some mascara and a nude pencil on my lower waterline. Then I went in with this lipstick from Disguise Cosmetics. This is in the shade Magician. It's a beautiful formula that I enjoy wearing a lot and this shade is just amazing. It works with everything. I topped this off with some gloss from Nykaa in the shade O oh Honey. Again, an amazing formula, affordable, does not stick and it's very, very easy to wear throughout the day. And this was the final look. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.